Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode of the Brave Taylor TV. Have you missed me? Because I have missed you. So guys, we're out of the woods, or at least so it seems. But lots of businesses are going to be doing their running their businesses online. A lot of businesses are going to be doing a lot of things virtually. So I decided I was going to talk about netiquette. I'm sure a lot of people are like, what the hell is is netiquette or what are netiquette or who is netiquette or so many questions right i know okay so this is etiquette online so how to relate with your customers or whoever it is you're communicating with online and i am going to be giving maybe five maybe six as the spirit list some do's on etiquette that you should imbibe okay first 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 respect your customer respect their privacy and respect who they are respect their time you do not want to communicate with people and they perceive that you do not respect them okay so i heard somebody recently or maybe not so recently saying that oh um where where i'm older than you or you're older than me or some 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 yo you need that customer of course you need to just respect them not because you have to yeah you have to but also because you need to right you need to respect your customers your customers time is important so whatever information you want to communicate with your customers should be plain and simple you do not want to keep them reading for a long period of time without passing or exchanging or making sure they understand what you're trying to say so respect their time respect their privacy that is make sure that the things that they're sharing with you or things that they're communicating with you are not out in the open if for any reason you want to put their testimonial online or something they said to you or something you said to them make sure you take permission from them so they're more comfortable having interactions with you okay so be sensitive about your comments okay so you are online y'all you need to be sensitive about the things that you are saying so sometimes a customer leave you a message online or they leave like some like messages to communicate you should be sensitive about the, the comments you're leaving you should be sensitive about the things or the responses that you're giving somewhere who send you a message or say something about your design or say something about your pieces online and you feel the need to respond which of course you have to you should be sensitive about the things that you're saying okay so i read something or i've been reading something about someone or a couple of fashion designers or artists or like a couple of people who would who someone is asking to buy something from them online and they go um okay so i'm the customer now and i go um hi i like this piece how much is it and i see the response of the owner of the brand saying um dm me or send me a dm or yo there are better ways to, to communicate that. There are better ways to communicate that. First, your customer shouldn't be trying to DM you if they already left you a comment on the page, right? So the first thing you're meant to do or the first thing you should do is send a message to them on their page. So if you're trying to get them to DM you, why not just start by you DMing them? Send them a message, oh, sorry. DMing is direct messaging. So like just direct messaging on social media or mostly Instagram or Twitter just direct message send them a message say okay yeah this thing is going for this this prize and subsequently um, could you give us your email so we could forward some other information to you you could do that why just say yo i don't get it so be sensitive to your comments on social media manage your humor and sarcasm you shouldn't communicate that with your customer especially when you're chatting or when you're sending messages or when you're trying to communicate because sometimes they can't read deep meanings the things you're saying so they read like the surface meanings which will appear as though you're being rude or you're being quirky or you're being just full of yourself right when you're actually just being funny right you need to be careful on the sarcasms that you use or your humor just be careful because you don't want to communicate the wrong information to your customers and you don't want them fighting you for things that you thought were funny right? read your messages before sending I cannot overemphasize this. So um, I had times when I used to. Okay, so this is how my head works sometimes. Oh yeah, my head is like super fast. So when I'm typing, I'm typing faster than I am thinking, so, or, or I'm thinking faster than I'm typing. So sometimes you just have the words all over the place, and you just say, "Please don't do that." Make sure you cross check what you're sending, so that way you're communicating properly, and you haven't already sent something that isn't communicating what you want to communicate, and 
you can't take it back please <laughs> read your messages um i had someone who mistakenly told the client that they missed them i had someone who told the client that um things like that okay so you want to try to avoid this because yeah just read your messages read your messages also confirm like cross check your attachment if you're sending an email cross check the attachment you're sending because if you have some <laughs> kinky or funny pictures and you mistakenly attach those and send to your client you can't take it back i'm sorry you can't take it back so cross check your messages cross check your emails cross check your typos and cross check your attachment because it's very essential okay and lastly lastly if you are not going to follow all of these measures to make sure that you have the proper netiquette then you probably should just make sure that everyone comes and see you in person so they can relate to you directly i'm just kidding it's important to have netiquette it's important to communicate it's important to make sure that your messages are not lost in the wind it's important to follow my youtube channel <laughs> if you have it please follow my youtube channel make sure that you subscribe make sure you like make sure you leave your comments because if you don't do that like i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding make sure you like my videos make sure you share my videos make sure you leave your comments so we can take this conversation there like i rightly said and most importantly click on the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time my awesomeness is online thank you guys Mwah.